On October 12, 2023, the British Army's Armoured Test and Development Unit, ATDU, conducted tests of the new Challenger 3 transmission on the Challenger 2 Megatron main battle tank. These trials were revealed on the official ATDU Twitter account, signifying a major advancement in the development of next-generation engine capabilities for the British Army. The ATDU, Army's Armored Test and Development Unit, Twitter account recently posted information regarding these trials, demonstrating the unit's commitment to advancing military technology. However, it is important to note that precise details of the drivetrain used in the Challenger 3 main battle tank have not been disclosed, highlighting the confidential nature of this phase of development. A significant element of these tests is the replacement of the Challenger 2's TN-54 transmission with a new, undisclosed transmission for the Challenger 3 MBT. Although precise information on this new transmission remains confidential, it is expected to represent an advance in terms of performance, reliability, and adaptability to the operational requirements of the Challenger 3. The transition from the TN-54 transmission to this new system reflects the British Army's commitment to improving the capabilities of its armoured vehicles. It should be noted that this development could also indicate a broader desire by the British Army to upgrade the latest generation Challenger 2s to Challenger 3 MBT standard. This potential upgrade would ensure that the entire fleet of British tanks can benefit from the latest technological advances and performance improvements. The Challenger 3 main battle tank project has progressed, including a successful completion of the Critical Design Review CDR, in early 2023. This marked the finalization of the prototype vehicle design. Following this, the prototypes will undergo a manufacturing and testing phase to refine the design before production begins, with the first prototype expected to be revealed by the end of the year. The Challenger 3 Enterprise emphasized collaboration, with lessons learned from past projects. One such innovation is the digital twin concept, aimed at reducing risks and speeding up the manufacturing and testing phases. This approach not only improves efficiency but also contributes to environmental sustainability by reducing carbon emissions. These learnings also played a role in optimizing supply chain management, ensuring the timely completion of initial prototypes. Trials are integral to armored vehicle development, subjecting designs to rigorous testing to identify potential flaws and areas for improvement. Following trials, further refinement will lead to the System Qualification Review SQR, to finalize manufacturing standards. Trials are expected to conclude by 2026, with the SQR soon after. The Challenger 3 MBT is expected to reach initial operational capability by 2027, with the goal of having all 148 units operational by 2030. This 24-hour, all-weather tank is equipped with advanced features such as Primary Sight Day and Night Commander and the shooter's primary aim. It will be equipped with a 120mm L55A1 smoothbore weapon compatible with NATO and upgraded munitions. The tank also benefits from the Automotive Heavy Armor Improvement Project, including a third-generation Hydroga suspension and notable engine upgrades. Additionally, the Challenger 3 offers superior front and side turret protection, enhanced tactical communications, enhanced hull protection, and an increased electrical system combined with GA electronic architecture offering growth prospects. With a four-person crew, Challenger 3 tank weighs 66 tons and measures approximately 11.5 meters in length with the gun forward. It is armed with a 120mm smoothbore main gun and one or two 7.62mm machine guns, boasting a 360-degree traverse range and an elevation range of minus 9 to plus 20 degrees. Powered by a Perking CV-12 TCA diesel engine with around 1,200 horsepower, the Challenger 3 can reach a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour and has a range of about 500 km. Its impressive maneuverability features include a 60% gradient, 30% side slope, and the ability to ford up to 1 meter of water. In 2021, the United Kingdom announced an $800 million contract for the upgrade of 148 Challenger 2 tanks to the Challenger 3 standard, at an average cost of around $6.8 million per tank. 
One of the key changes is the transition of the main armament from a 120mm L30A1 rifled gun to a 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun. The Challenger 2 has also seen upgrades to its suspension system. These modifications reportedly enable the tank to reach speeds up to 100 km per hour and have enhanced its firing accuracy while in motion. Now, the advancement of the Challenger 2 MBT's transmission to a more sophisticated system confirms the British Army's ongoing commitment to modernizing the Challenger 2 MBT Megatron, the latest iteration of the Challenger 2 tanks. This strategy aims to align with the capabilities expected for the Challenger 3, slated for 2027, while also extending the operational lifespan of the Challenger 2. These efforts affirm the British Army's dedication to keeping its tank fleet technologically competitive, thereby enhancing both national and international security.